Yeah, well, so I'm going to have to fix this meter up. This is the next most broken analog meter I've got. Now it's going to hit the load wheel and do some damage, so I better fix this up now before it gets moving around and damage too much. This is a uh, Landis and Gaia ML240 XDF6, 3x240 volt, 3x30, 125 amps, a direct wired one, 35 volts per kilowatt hour, 50 hertz. Yeah, I've got to fix this nameplate up. She needs a bit of attention. Recertified in 1999. All right, let's uh, get this thing opened up and prepared and tested. There's a terminal covers for these. They're in amongst all those meters. I've got to go and sort through them. I did find them. I have got a couple of extra spares too. So one of my other Lannis and Gaia meters need a new terminal cover because, uh, as you remember, one of them was broken on the corner. It just clips straight on. All that hooks down. And that's it. For they come off like that. This thing's been dropped. Yeah, I don't know how, but I must have let it flat on its face and left it to fall off. That one moves fairly, there's no scraping or breaking this, breaking this in there. And then I've got the cover off one of these meters, you get a good detailed look. That's quality right there, very good quality stuff. Plastic uh, drive here, whoops, it goes in the ram drive, this side uh, load reel. As you can see, it's a direct wild type, big chunky load coils. And there's, a, there's a brake magnets. This looks like it only has one set. These things here, looks like they're, they're being cut. So that's when they are, um, they're like shims. I think they're shims. They use a pack the, uh, the assembly together and the current coils and get this thing precise. And there's the um, brackets which hold part of the chassis and everything together and yeah, potential coils together. There's one there, so there's 240 ohms on that one. So one, two and three phase. There's also a current coil at the back as well obviously, being a three phase meter. And the solenoids behind there, which uh, changes your tariff flavor. It's got 166,468 in the first low tariff and 305,181.5 on the second uh, high tariff. It seems I want to stay on there now so I can put this back together before I get dust in it. Anyway, let's uh, rack it back together and get it all wired up and give it a phantom load test. Now, the is all wired up, ready to go. Now, I'm going to get this, um, well, this already, actually it already is on that rate. I just wanted to um, verify here, make sure which rate it was on. And I wanted to find exactly, to double check where this actually connects to. So, we've got this one here, is our live for our um, solenoid. So, that there potentially goes through that, through a switch to neutral, to switch to the um, tariff change mechanism over. I've noticed this bloody screw on this neutral thing's loose. When they refurbished this meter, they left this screw here loose. They tightened it, but the uh, wire actually still wobbles around. I better tighten that, have a bit of a dodgy connection to the uh, solenoid. Yeah, it's still loose. That wire's loose there, I'm gonna have to fix that. Probably doesn't matter, but unless it's only to run on a little solenoid, but still, still should be um, perfect. I uh, see the odd fingerprints on those on that load wheel too, so they have definitely been handling it when I uh, recertified this thing. Anyway, I'll um, put the cover back on and we'll uh, proceed with a test. The top is going to be a bit faster this one, because this is 66.6 revs per kilowatt hour, and this is half about half that at 35 revs per kilowatt hour, so it's going to be a bit of difference here. Right, let's proceed with a test. on, very echo on, I'll get my uh, clamp meter out. Make sure there's no shorts anywhere. Alright, let's uh, proceed with a test, get me uh, put over here. There's, yeah, I'll go about 30 amps, I'll do a safe test, I won't put too much load through anything. Alright. Right. 40 amps. Yeah, this is obviously going real fast compared to this one. 
gonna have to do some uh, configuration of the wiring. I think to change that. You might have to do some reconfiguration. Ah, right. let's change some things a little bit. A bit of difference is here, so let's uh, get going. Yeah, this is measuring the potential as well, so you can allow for that, and it should be pretty good. No load real warpage, which is a good thing. Can't really see the lettuce and guy, I like it. It's all scuffed up and, and so effective. Yeah, needs a good clean. I think so far so good though. A bit hard to tell all the scuff marks from the lettuce and guy, but yeah, it's keeping up. You know, it's going that way. And that one's going that way. So the wheels on that, both of these um, registers go in opposite directions. So let's get that straightened up a bit. Yeah, they're both advanced one. Yeah, that's right. A bit hard to see because it scuffs right on the little uh, markings that I need to see. Look carefully. Those load wheels are dead straight, so no damage done from that fascia that laying around. That face plate. So far, so good. Just got to find where the terminal covers for these are. I'll do that later on. I'll get this all cleaned up and nice and pretty. And that's this one. Um, the next damaged analog meter done. The rest should all be in uh, pretty damn good condition. Just enjoy that load ball spinning. Beautiful. Yep, they're keeping up all right. There you go, they're keeping up. So far, so good. This one is dead accurate. Bloody glare. Let's see if I can stand in front of it. That's better. I let the EMR one get right on the mark and we'll see what the Lettuce and Gaia one looks like. But so far, it's looking good. Yep, pretty good. They're yeah, pretty damn accurate. Now that's alright then. Sweet. But uh, it's good thing these are built so solidly. The dropping around didn't damage the accuracy or miss a lot of load or anything like that. Quick amp check. How much amps I got going through that? Oh yeah, that's a 50 amp load through these. Yep, I'm pulling 50 amps or... There you are, that's at 50 amps load. Yeah, that's going to be a big energy bill, isn't it? Man. Yep, power plus to set the go up again in the near year. Bloody bastards. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Let this one get right on the mark. I've got one more little uh, tenth of a kilowatt hour to go and that'll be it. I can bloody see this one though. Yeah, that's about the same. Yeah, a bit of cut and polish will fix that. There you go, full five minutes of uh, load wheel action there for you. Apologies for the bloody glare, but it's the best I got. Best place I can do it. All right, almost there in the email. Not quite, got a tiny little bit to go. Wait for that, there you go, it's getting there, getting there. 
46,181 kilowatt hours. Right there. Power off. My links aren't hot, are they? Nah, my little links here I got here are a bit smaller to link my um, potential coils up. I use a smaller wire to join the um, potentials up. They don't seem to be uh, bothered by the upload, so that's a good thing. Alright, let's. Uh, yep, spot on. Beautiful. It's accurate. It passed. Let's get this thing cleaned up. Came out quite well. Nothing a bit of uh, cut and polish won't fix. Get a good reading now. Anyway. This is just a one I've covered off a, a, a CT type transformer I've got a bit. Pretty much the same for this one. Look at that. Now it's got a terminal cover, which is all nice and restored, up to scratch and accurate. Anyway, that's all uh, complete and restored. Just the specs again, 3 times 240 volt, 3 times 30, 125 amp maximum, 35 hertz per kilometer, 50 hertz, top ML240 XTF6. Lannison Gaia. Thanks for watching.